Hi everyone, welcome to the overview tutorial lesson for this pansy drawing. I drew this using Prismacolor and Polychromos pencils on Rising Museum Mount Board. And here you can see me getting started just with the blocking in process of these bright yellow petals. For this drawing in particular, I had to pay attention to how I wanted to lay the colors here because I'm going to be coming back through with some really dark reddish brown colors that I did not want to bleed into this yellow. So I decided to go ahead and get the yellow completely down and blended and then come back through with those darker colors for the pattern on this pansy. So it's a little bit different than the way I usually work. A lot of times I like to go ahead and block in the dark colors first, but I was really afraid if I did that and then came back through with the yellow, I was going to get a lot of bleeding and I just really wanted some really sharp detail from the, the patterns here. So that's the way I decided to work and you know it's important to evaluate each reference image as you're getting started and think through you know how am I going to make this work because if you just jump in and start drawing without having a little bit of a plan a lot of times you can run into problems that are sometimes impossible to correct so take your time and Think through how you're going to do things, even using a scrap piece of paper to experiment a little bit when you are running into something that might be a little bit tricky. So you can see with this main petal that's right here in the front, I did decide to go a little bit darker, a little more golden. That's for a few different reasons. One, just to provide some contrast between this petal and the petal behind it. Um, you're wanting a separation between those petals. I don't want it to look like just a big yellow blob here. I want you to be able to tell that there are three distinct yellow petals. So that's one of the ways you can do that by um, just using a slightly different color. So I used more golden yellows in this front petal. Now you can see me coming through with the darker patterns and I wanted to keep those really nice and sharp so I was being careful there. I'm using a Prismacolor pencil there that is the Prismacolor Black Raspberry and then I'm going to be coming over it with some of the Polychromos Magenta which is a brighter purplish red that is closer to the colors that are going to be in the um, more purplish petals that are behind these yellows. And I sharpened that pencil pretty frequently because the Prismacolor Black Raspberry, it's a very um, creamy, soft, opaque pencil and does not hold a sharp point for very long. So um, just to overcome that, I just kept sharpening it. And I tried to get close with these patterns. They're not perfect to my reference image. Um, but they're close. The reference image comes from Adobe Stock and it's one of their free reference images over there. I recently discovered that Adobe Stock has a really big collection of free reference images and you do have to sign up um, but you don't have to pay anything so you don't have to put in a credit card or anything. They have a really good selection of free images and then of course I get a lot of my images from Adobe Stock. Their regular selection is really good, um, but you do have to pay for a subscription. But lots of free images over there. I would definitely recommend checking it out. It's worth signing up in my opinion because there are so many good images and also it's really easy to search through those. But another place that is really good for getting free reference images to work from is um, a website called Pixabay. And I've gotten lots of images there as well. Here I'm just working back in and around the red with my yellow, but I was being careful not to um, 
blend down into the especially the darkest reds I did go over some of the center reds so that it would look like some of the yellow was peeking through that pattern but you can see I ended up with pretty nice sharp pattern there and not a lot of bleeding And now I'm just working down into the next petal. I worked around all three of these petals the exact same way. This was a very fun drawing to do and I have found myself um, being really obsessed with pansies lately. They're so beautiful. There's so many interesting colors and when you look at several of them together they're they remind you almost like of an abstract like all kinds of different colors and patterns um, this is the first one i've ever drawn i'm definitely going to be drawing more so you're going to see more pansies um, lots of fun and also i think good practice for a beginner drawing because um, it's going to be kind of hard to make a mistake on this. Like I said with the pattern, if I got this a little bit wrong, if I got one of these lines um, too long or too short or too close together, it's, it's really not going to matter. So that's always a helpful thing for beginner uh, colored pencil artists. And it's also really good practice for blending as well. Um, the important thing with these yellow petals the yellow part of the petals was just getting a really nice smooth um, petal there. I didn't want any kind of graininess showing through, no real texture. I just wanted really um, soft, smooth, bright yellow. Then I was coming back over these outer edges to add some detail there as well. And I was being careful with these outer edge lines to make them curved somewhat. And um, I wanted to make sure that they helped give the petal some shape. So make sure that you're careful with those lines on those outer edges, that they're going in the right direction. And coming over with an even darker, I think that's the dark cadmium from Polychromos. And a good substitute there would be the Spanish Orange from Prismacolor. And just really cleaning everything up and making sure once again that there is no, um, no paper showing through, no graininess. And that's just layering. That's my Prismacolor Canary pencil. I used about four different yellows on here. I used the light cadmium, uh, regular cadmium, dark cadmium from Polychromos, and the canary and lemon yellow from Prismacolor. And then I used quite a few different purplish red colors, raspberry and pomegranate, are both uh, Prismacolors and of course that black raspberry that I used for the patterns. Then from the Polychromas I used a lot of the magenta and quite a bit of crimson which is more of a purplish color. That's going to be around the edges of the more reddish petals that are behind here. I was trying to make sure I had some depth, so I wanted to make sure you could see the difference in the center, and I ended up using this Posca paint pen, demonstrating that. That was for Patreon. If you go over to my Patreon page, you can watch a real-time uh, version of this drawing, so if this is moving way too fast, you can see that. So I stop now and then and just explain some things, and that's what I was doing there with that Posca paint pen. And now just working on these back petals. I'm starting in, I'm blocking everything in using a Polychromos magenta. And um, when I say blocking everything in, I mean I am 
uh, getting these veiny lines in here. And in the reference image, you can kind of see these through the petal. So they almost look like they're behind. Um, they're not really prominent, but I wanted to block those in first and then I come over them with all my other colors and darken them up a little bit later. And they, they do look like they're um, almost behind the other colors, if that makes sense. And also getting all of those in first, it's just a really easy way to work, I think. And again, those are not perfect to the reference image. They're close. I was looking over at the reference as I drew them, but wasn't being careful to make sure they were exact. That was the Polychromos Crimson, and this is Prismacolor Mulberry. And I wanted the outer edges of these petals to have almost a glow. And so that's why I put those brighter purples. And then I actually came through with a Prismacolor Lavender in my second layers to really create that highlighted effect um, on the edges of those petals. And that worked out really well. I'm looking at the drawing right now and you can really see that standing out and looks really pretty. That's a Prismacolor Magenta. The Prismacolor Magenta and the Polychromos Magenta are very different colors, weirdly. So they don't make good substitutes. Sometimes between brands, you can substitute directly if uh, the pencil's called the same thing, but not always. And this is one of the cases where Prismacolor Magenta is a very different color than Polychromos Magenta. Not, not good substitutions for each other, but they both worked really well in this drawing for different reasons. But that can get confusing. So look at this at this point, how grainy it is um, compared to once I start to blend this with solvent. So I have some uh, Utrecht Nude. It's an odorless paint thinner on my brush here. Um, and, and just look how that dissolves all of that pigment. And you can still see those veiny lines behind there that I drew in. And it just makes a really big difference. Now, this is not done at this point. It looks pretty messy. And it's not even close to something that I would be happy with. But I have a really nice base now to come through and uh, really darken everything up and get more contrast. But Using that solvent to blend things out really makes a big difference on these drawings. So I would highly recommend experimenting with that if you haven't with your colored pencils. Big difference. I mean, that took like five minutes. And now I can come through and add all the detail and add some darker colors and I have just this really great base. working on the shadow areas first and sometimes those look darker than they ultimately will look but I in general darkened everything up on these back petals I used the electric eraser to pull up some bits of color and then I came over with some of the brighter pencils so that was just to add again more of that glow so it looks like probably the sun coming through the petals and it adds some texture and just interest in general and now working on this last petal this goes really fast once you have that really nice base down using the electric eraser over here. That's a brighter red. That was a poppy red that I put in there 
again emphasizing that glow and there's my lavender look how that really just makes those petals glow from behind I think it turned out really pretty again I'm kind of obsessed with poppies now and putting just the finishing touches there on the center and there you have it that is my final drawing I am happy to answer any questions in the comments if you want to know how I did this and you can go watch the five part uh, mostly real time drawing tutorial over on patreon and I have over 300 other drawing videos and lessons and things over there if you're interested in learning how to draw mostly flowers i've got some birds and some other things as well um, but check that out if you're interested and otherwise i will be back here with another drawing all right bye everybody